get ready to do a sample video on the drivers for printers. As you can see, my printer is already installed, but right down here on the panel is where I'm actually going to have um, a tutorial on how to get this desktop icon so you can put it on the panel and um, have certain features with your HP printer that you could actually detect how much ink is left in it. All that next on Tux Deck TV. Alright, on today's video, like I said in the beginning, I'm actually going to show you guys how to go online and actually get your drivers for um, the uh, HP printers. So you're going to just go type in HP printer drivers for Linux. And as you can see, I already went through these procedures here. so. It's going to bring me directly to this page right here. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is click right here where it says download the uh, HP LIP, whatever that means. And then right here, step one, you're going to select your distribution. So you go ahead and select whether it's uh, Debian, Fedora, or whatever else it is here. Printer, I mean, uh, operating system. I'm using Ubuntu, so I'm going to click Ubuntu, 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 whatever, same thing, use it, shut up, don't correct me, <laughs> alright, 14.04 is the uh, version that I'm using, and uh, mine is a, uh, I think it's an Office Jet, yeah, Office Jet, and um, down here, you're gonna basically select what version of printer it is. So, did I already pass it? As you can see, there's oh my god, there's hundreds of printers here for you to. I don't know, maybe a couple hundred. I might be exaggerating a little bit, but anyway, my unit is a 4620, and then um, you click next and then next again and then next again and then from here is where you're gonna download right here you can see it's indicating what download version this is and um, usually when you come to this page it gives you the most current version um, in some instances uh, because there might be a release that might be coming out a few hours later it'll still give you the older version so or a couple of days um, ahead of time or whatever that you know you could go ahead and just click on this and do the download and then in the terminal it'll prompt you whether or not you want to go ahead and do an update and you could do that but as you can see here the steps that's indicated in these windows here you just follow these and um, until you get to the very end it's gonna do system checks and all that to see um, if there's any extra uh, any extras that needs to be downloaded it's gonna I believe this is like a, a cron program a cron job that they use <laughs> to, to run this driver program here to do the install and um, it searches the system to see if you have any um, additional things that you need to add and it'll go ahead and do those downloads automatically but anyway I'm rambling um, and then as you see here these windows are very very these windows right here are pretty much the same so there's no changes in the way that these uh the ui looks here so as you see it here just follow these steps and um when you get to the end you will be able to um go into your search whether it's using Unity or 
using the uh, GNOME interface and uh, you'll see right here the HP device driver and when you click on it right now I don't have any ink in my printer which sucks the uh, where I usually go to get my ink the store is uh, actually shutting down which is Tiger Direct they actually had brick and mortar stores um, that you could go to and purchase parts for your computer or whatever um, security cameras whatever it, whatever pertains to technology that you that has your interest um, Tiger Direct actually had and they're no more they're actually shutting down some stores I don't know if they're gonna shut them all down but yeah that seems to be the issue with that but anyway rambling again um, printer settings right here you can make some changes on um, how detailed that you want your prints to be uh, right here you can see it's indicating that I have zero ink I have no ink in my printer <laughs> funny as hell anyway this is not a good example to show you guys how to do anything but then right here you could do a sample print and all this stuff so this uh, GUI right here the GUI for the uh, printer it's pretty much it's basic it's not pretty but it gets the job done and right here you could actually set up um, your printer wirelessly if it actually has that capability but anyway that's that in a nutshell and um, another way that actually you could actually get your printer set up if you don't want to have to go through going online and searching for the driver which is old-fashioned if you ask me that's the old-fashioned way of doing it that's the Windows way of doing it so here's the Linux way of doing it you go into your system settings whether it's in Ubuntu again uh, Linux Mint uh, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, whatever Ubuntu you're using and um, go into your printer settings and um, once your USB cable is plugged into the device it will detect your device automatically but of course your printer has to be on for it to detect it so make sure it's on and uh, once it's detected you just run through the steps here you want to highlight first and when you highlight it then your button which will be to your bottom right right here which will be the next button to get to the next step would actually highlight so you want to highlight your your printer here um, if you're not using fax don't bother to click on the fax just highlight the um, the office jet and uh, whatever version of uh, or whatever type of printer that you're using and move forward with the steps and uh, that's a really easy way to do it so you know whenever you guys um, get the chance to look for a printer or whatever have you you know you could if it's um, gonna be used used in Linux you know the best printers to use in Linux right now are actually the HP printers which I highly recommend um, setups are very easy and I haven't had any issue with the three printers that I've had um, connected to my Linux boxes so you know this one I'm getting ready to get rid of actually I need to upgrade my printer my printer right now sucks but anyway <laughs> upgrade will be coming in the future oh and by the way I don't know if uh, you guys know this which you probably won't but my monitor has been upgraded to a 1080p monitor and so that you guys can see right here 1080p alright anyway that's it for this video um, the next video coming up is actually gonna be on um, a uh, AMD desktop build that I did for the kids I'm just gonna show you guys a quick snippet or a picture of the device and uh, give you guys a list of the parts so if you're interested in building the machine yourself then you could go ahead and get that done it was a cheap build and um, I think that you guys if you're looking for a new machine this would be a good way to go but anyway Thanks for you guys um, viewing my video, subscribe, and um, have a good one. Alright.